Those numbers are staggering, which is why we are seeing this mobilization of police officers in a big way tonight. Their turnaround happening right now at 5 o'clock, and you can see all the officers on bikes beyond that cruiser. You can see five mounted police patrols, and there are also mopeds and beat cops and everything you can think of that are deploying into Central Park tonight as officers try and combat that recent wave of violence in the city's crown jewel. This is an order from the top on down as Mayor Adams has met with leadership from the NYPD to get crime under control here in Central Park. As you heard, robberies are up 200% so far this year, with new incidents seemingly happening all week and just as recent as overnight. Police have been promising more technology to assist in their patrols, including autonomous drones, which can be controlled remotely and get eyes on a scene in just seconds. That will happen by month's end, according to police. However, we learned today from Chief John Shell that much of this spike in crime they are believing that it's being committed by young people living in city migrant-run shelters, including an 11-year-old boy who police say was just arrested yesterday. People who enjoy this oasis say they don't want it to be overcome with criminals. As long as I'm with someone, and again, if I'm with the crowd and stay on the main pass, I don't assume I'm going to get into trouble. And yes, we've seen a heavy police presence, and that's okay with me. People must feel safe in all our parks in general, but specifically in Central Park because of the large number of people who uh, visit there. You know, when something happens in Central Park, it becomes a, a huge uh, international story. And so we're, we're on top of it. Another incident happening this morning we have to tell you about involving a runner and an elderly woman at the Jackie O Reservoir. Police say the 82-year-old woman was shoved to the ground by a man who reportedly said to her, you don't belong here. She suffered injuries to her nose, arm, and knees while the man ran off. Felony assaults like this are up 43% this year, according to the NYPD. Now, the chief tells us that most of this type of crime is being concentrated where we are. Central Park South, around 59th Street, the southern tip of Central Park. So that is where much of their patrol will be focused. However, they're deploying as many as 100 extra officers tonight and for the foreseeable future until they say crime is in, under control. We're